Hello there friends, Debbie here with Debbie Gets Crafty and this is part two of our very big haul for uh, Timu. I showed you in our first video, I showed you some bits and bobs and pieces and different things uh, and I showed you a couple of diamond painting uh, related items with the two sets of coasters and the box that holds drills. Now we're going to get into the canvases. Today's video we will do some smaller canvases and then the next video, the last one that we do for this particular haul, it will wrap up with some larger canvases. So let's get into it. And how are you today? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. I thank you so much. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's take a look at the first canvas. This is so stinking cute. Now, I recently did a friend mail and a sister mail video. And part of my twin sister Judy's mail that she sent to me a gift, uh, she sent me an adorable 20 by 20 of, of an otter taking a bubble bath. I thought that was so cute and so funny that she sent me that because this very first picture, how precious is that? Oh my gosh. They are so stinking cute. The little baby otters. Let's go ahead and relax this. There's 21 colors in this particular diamond painting. If I can get the cellophane down correctly. There we go. Ooh, this is a gnarly one trying to get this. There we go. To relax. Relax, kids. Relax. You've been on a long journey. Relax. So I was I was saying. 21 colors. DMC codes are included. And let's see here. They are not in any kind of an alphabetical order. They're all alphabetical, but not in any type of an order. So, but the drill field is really nice. That is a nice drill field. And the stick is real good as well. The stick is very good. And we'll go ahead and turn this over this way. This seems to be working out a little bit better instead of doing it on its side. There we go. There. We got the wrinkles out. We got the picture to flatten out a little bit. Isn't that adorable, friends? Oh my gosh. So it comes with your standard toolkit. You get the pad of wax, the boat, and the pink pen. Comes in a resealable bag. And this is all you need, my friends, to work this picture. That and the diamonds. And the canvas number is on the set of drills. So I can store these separate because I like to store my canvas to flatten out in a, in a uh, portfolio that I have weighted down. So here are the colors. Really cute muted colors some teals, some pinks and peaches, blues, greens, mossy greens, and some grays. Really going to be cute. All right, so that's the first one. I'm going to set this aside. There we go. And we'll go ahead and set that right here. Sorry about that, friends. All right, so on to the next. So I think we'll do, no, it doesn't matter. I think we'll do this one next. They're both uh, 30 by 40. And the Otters was a 30 by 30, but these next two are 30 by 40, which is typically what I get. That being said, that I do have for my last video that I'm doing on this haul, I have a few that are a bit larger, so let's see here. All right, 
I actually got a couple of these particular scenes uh, in, a, in another order that I did. I didn't do a video on it. I just purchased it and, and un, unpacked it. Um, it comes with your standard toolkit. And here are the diamonds, the drills. Again, very muted colors with the blues. I like that contrast with the dark blue and the light blue. And the browns and the creams with the brown. A touch of pinks and I see a little purple peeking out there, which is nice. And I got a couple of these in the same type of a series. So I'm really excited about this one as well. Isn't that pretty? I love that. It looks, I don't know, almost like a folk art, I guess. Let's try to relax this. It's a 30 by 40. It has 21 colors. The stick is very good. The drill field is amazing. There is a legend at the upper left and lower right. It includes the DMC codes. So that's a plus. There we go. These canvases, as they've been on a journey, my friends. So it's definitely want to relax that canvas a little bit, flatten it out. And by just lifting up on this release paper here, this Saran plastic paper, just by lifting up on it, it helps the canvas to relax. There we go. Much better. Nice. And again, this will go under in a portfolio under a heavier portfolio. I have a portfolio of pictures to do under a portfolio of pictures that are done. Now, anybody who's been diamond painting for a while knows that if you fill a portfolio with completed diamond paintings, it's going to be heavy. So it's the perfect weight to go on top of my portfolio that I want to work on, of the pictures I want to work on. It does have the canvas code on the drills, which is nice, and it's the train, the drills that look like a train. And these are the colors, okay? So let's go ahead and put that aside. We'll set them right here so I can grab them. All right, the next one is a 30 by 40. And this one, let me see here. Oh, this one, I saw this one a couple of times and I thought to myself, yeah, I've got to get this one because it just kept drawing me to this particular picture. I was just drawn to it. And I rarely do people. I rarely do faces, but this was just calling to me. It's got your standard toolkit. Here are the drills. It's got the, the number of the canvas on it. Really pretty. Again, muted colors. And this is like a vintage picture. I'm really excited about this one. So here we go. Isn't she gorgeous? There was just something about her, just this vintage flapper girl look back in the 20s or 30s. And she just spoke to me. I love it. It's got 17 colors. It's a 30 by 40, which is probably the size of the canvas. The, the size of the picture is most likely like a 25 by 35. But it's got 17 colors. It's in it's not in alphabetical order, but it is all letters. And there are DMC numbers. There's a legend up on the top left and lower right. There is a thumbnail. It's very small, so I won't bother to waste your time trying to show you. But she is gorgeous. I think this is gonna render beautifully. Let me just relax this canvas. I apologize if you hear the motorcycle in the background. Very obnoxious. But that's what you get. All right, let's see here. 
So we're just relaxing this young lady. She's had a long journey. And we're just going to let her relax. Flip her over here. The drill field is beautifully clear. And the stick is really good. Absolutely. So I'm excited about doing this one. Like I said, I rarely do people and I don't think I've ever done a full face like this so I, I can say I'm fairly certain I've never done a full face like this so I'm really really super excited about that but there she is isn't she gorgeous love her eyes look at those eyes so I'm really excited about that one and we'll set her aside again. Um, I saw other ones that are similar to that. So if this one turns out really good, I may consider getting more. So the last one I'm going to show you is another 30 by 40. All right. And this one, I just, I loved it. I, it just, this is another one that I kept going past and just not getting. And I thought, you know what? I really want it, so I might as well just get it. And it's just really cute. I don't know how well it's going to render, but we'll see. We will see. I'm going to give it a shot. This is a little bit above a standard toolkit. You still have your pink pen, your pad of wax, and your green boat. However, you do have on this pink pen a three-placer and you also have a set of baggies. So that's interesting. This is a little bit higher uh, on the scale of standard tool kits. And it comes in a resealable bag. So these are the colors. Nice. They're bright colors, but they're not like neon bright. They're bright but muted, if that makes any sense. Okay, and you have your yellows and your creams and your reds, burgundies and oranges. You have some green in there, peach, caramel, little pink, little mint green, not a bright mint green, almost a pistachio. And then this is the picture. So friends, I had to do a quick battery change because my battery was just about to kaput. So I'm glad we didn't miss anything. I was just ready to show you the picture. And this is the picture, a cozy little cottage in the country. And it's got a little picnic down on the floor with a book and a fire, beautiful country flowers and a nice comfy chair. Isn't that really pretty? It looks a lot better on camera. It is a little, um, not pixelated, but I don't think it's going to render very sharply. Not as sharp as what you're seeing in the picture, but that's okay. I'm really looking forward to doing this one. This one was something that was literally calling my name every time I went on to Timu. I just, it was always front and center. So I'm still going to do it. It's going to be great and there you have it. The stick is real good. I'm just going to relax this canvas. And I am so sorry for that little pause there. But uh, like I said, the battery showed that it was just about ready to kick it. So I wanted to go ahead and change it before. There we go. That paper got a little wrinkled there, but that's all right. It's still covering everything that needs to be covered. But it's a really pretty picture. It's 25 colors. It does have numbers 1 through 7 in numerical order. Then it does have alphabet letters. Um, alphabet letters, of course, it's alphabet letters, Debbie. It does have the alphabet, and they are in alphabetical order. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, K, L, N, like Nancy, O, P, R, S, T, and V. So, 
there's that. Let's see, there's a little piece that's coming off of the plastic, but that's okay. It's not it's not harming the the adhesive at all. It's very close to it. So I do have spare cover sheets because I never throw anything away. So I might grab a spare cover sheet to use. I keep bags, I keep cover sheets. I keep these bags that they come in. These little bags that the toolkits come in. If I use a toolkit, I'll keep the bag. Of course, I keep the resealable bags. I keep everything. You just never know when you might need it. And recently, my husband needed some Ziploc bags, and I said, I can help you out there, because he needed just some small ones. I, I got some. I got you covered. So, and there have been times where I've needed, um, like if I ripped the plastic cover, like this one is ripped, uh, I can go ahead and just replace it and not even think twice about it. Yeah, because it looks like it's ripping here in a second place. So, yeah, I'll just go ahead and dig out my cover sheets. But anyway, this is... I love this scene, this little country cottage scene. Boy, I'd love to be there right now with that nice cup of coffee. Nice little spread on the floor there, a little picnic. That's nice. Good book. That's always nice. So, friends, we're going to wrap it up there. That was the last of my 30 by 40s that I had, and I also had 30 by 30, and I'll show you that. So we have our little cottage, and then we had our flapper girl, and then we had our nice little folk art scene by the sea, and then we started with our little friends here, our little otters. So friends, in our next video, we're going to see three more kits that are 40 by 40. And I'm really excited about these. Um, I've been looking at them, a couple of them, for a long, long time, and I finally went ahead. I guess this was the order that I was just going to pull the trigger <laughs> and just get what I wanted to get that I've seen for a while. And so a couple of them in that, uh, there's three more left and two of them. I have been wanting so bad for so long. And then the third one was a kind of a surprise, but it's really beautiful. I can't wait to show you. So until I see you all again, thanks so much for stopping by today. And please hit that thumbs up button. Give it a smash. It really helps. Also, leave me a comment. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already subscribed. If you are a current subscriber, thanks so much for your continued support. And until I see you all again for the third installment of this uh, Timu haul, God bless you, my friends. Have a great day. We'll see you real soon, and happy crafting. Goodbye now.